by self-knowledge. Realize yourself to be the one self which alone exists eternally. Who realizes what? The one self is of the nature of being consciousness bliss. It is devoid of otherness. It is without differentiation. It is changeless. It is infinite and illimitable. It is bodiless. It is not perceptible to the senses. It is not conceivable. It is your real identity, Brahman. It is not individualized and is known with the knowledge that is non-objective in nature. It is entirely motionless. If it is not an embodied individual, and is of a nature that is non-objective, who realizes what? Think of yourself as if bound is merely ignorance.
Ignorance is destroyed by clear knowledge. Self-knowledge. It is the knowledge of existence, your existence. Existence is itself the knowledge. Who is to know the self? The body does not know it. Something bodiless knows and is itself the knowledge. Who knows the knowledge, the existence? The senses do not know it. It is not something that can be seen or heard, etc. Who knows? The mind does not know it.
Indeed, it is the knower. The unknown knower of all that is known. The individual does not know self-knowledge. Indeed, the individuality is merely a false assumption, superimposed upon the existence that alone knows itself. Or from another perspective, who is it that does not know the self? Is there one who is separate from Brahman that does not know it? For whom is ignorance?
The one self alone exists eternally. And you are only that. Inquire so that there is not the least trace of misidentification. And thus Brahman has known itself. The self reposes just as it is.
नमस्ते नोमी नमस्ते नोमी करो हाउ वन हैज़ टू वर्शिप गुरु और वन बी विथ गुरु Yes, one has to worship the guru or be with the guru. But what is the nature of the guru? Guru is uh, self. Then you don't have an existence apart from him. up up upcoming event is uh, guru purnima so um, so where guru is worshiped so is uh, um, that's where the question arises where the sense of separation dissolves there is where the guru is worshiped such worship goes on forever and its fullness is never diminished
Guru, Namaste. <coughs> I would like to ask the question, how to walk a uh, mind and uh, uh, knowledge? Who control them? Then how to use? How to control mind? What is it that you wish to control? I'm sorry, what is it? What, what do you want to control? Yeah, mind and uh, uh, knowledge. What is each other working is together? Mind and uh, knowledge. To require so as to know the nature of the mind is the best form of control. That which is transcendent of the mind alone is true knowledge. He said with uh, mind is uh, learning with knowledge. She did not, she did not understand the transcendent. I know, Gendra Monle Kosari Kamwar, sir. How to work? It's okay, it's okay. Gendra Monle Kosari Kamwar, sir. I know. Out to together. It's okay. The balam is okay. Mind and knowledge. What is the working out in the Very fun with the kirik. Oh my god. Mon ragyan leke. Kosari kam gorsa. How to together. Kosari say kam gorsa. Mon ragyan ke. Different gyan money ko knowledge so na mon money ko mind. Don't understand. Sorry, I didn't understand her question. <laughs> you cannot understand. She is repeating this mind, mind and knowledge. How 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 they can work together? Are they different, distinct things? Do they need to work together. Uh, yeah, sometimes sometime some people are, you know, a uh, mind. Mind is losing, then going to down. You know, some people coming depression, is, uh, they cannot control their mind. But why it's not working that time, knowledge? Why they don't use knowledge? If the mind is turned inward to the source of knowledge, what would happen to the depression?
if you would but know the nature of yourself, what else would you have to learn? In self-knowledge, you are not learning of something apart from you. It is not like studying a topic of some kind. Mm -hmm. Rather, ignorance is put aside or destroyed and the knowledge which is innate shines forth to itself. That which knows is consciousness. That which is, is existence. They are the same. The same is true of bliss or happiness. Can happiness become depressed? Thank you. Thank you. Being happy is the best thanks. Good morning, Nomi. So, um, we've learned from Ramana Maharshi that he felt that, uh, you know, his silence was also a very important part of teaching. And then we learned from you as well, that you teach in silence, you know, as much or more, uh, right? So what, what, can you elaborate on this silence teaching part? What is happening? What, what, is the, what is the form of communication that is happening during silence teaching? All questions about silence are answered by the same silence. How could it be described in words? That silence, which was of Dakshina Morte, that silence uh, for which Sri Bhagavan is known that silence is the nature of yourself of absolute being because it is non-dual not to. It is the best form of communication. And his silence is perpetual.
from the Bhagavad Gita. Chatur Vidha Bhajante Maam Jana Sukriti Norjuna Artho Jitnya Surartharthi Jnani Chabhara Darshabha Four kinds of virtuous men worship me, O Arjuna, the distressed, the seeker of knowledge, the seeker of wealth, and the wise man, O Lord of the Bharatas. Te sham jnani nitya yukta eka bhaktir vishishyate priyo hit jnani notyartham aham sachamama priyaha of them, the wise man, ever steadfast and devoted to the one, excels. For excessively dear am I to the wise, and he is dear to me. <coughs> Udara sarva evaite jnani tvatmaiva me matam asthita sahi yuktatma mameva nuttamam gadim Noble indeed are all these, but the wise man I deem is the very self, for steadfast in mind, he resorts to me alone as the unsurpassed goal. Avyaktam vyakti ma pannam manyante ma ma buddhayaha param bhava majananto the foolish regard me as the unmanifested coming in manifestation, knowing not my higher, immutable, unsurpassed nature. Naham prakasha sarvasya yoga maya samavrataha mudhoyam nabhijanati loko mamajamavyayam I am not manifest to all, veiled as I am, by yoga maya. This deluded world knows not me, unborn and imperishable. Vedaham samati tani, vartamanani charjuna, bhavishyani cha bhutani, mam tu vedana kaschana. I know, O Arjuna, the past and the present and the future beings, but me nobody knows. Icha dvesha samudhena dvandva mohena bharata sarva bhutani sammoham sarge yanti param tapa From the delusion of pairs caused by desire and aversion, O Bharata, all beings are subject to illusion at birth, O harasser of thy foes. Esham tvantagadam papam jananam punya karmanam te dvandva moha nirmukta bhajande mam Those mortals of pure deeds whose sin has come to an end, who are freed from the delusion of pairs, they worship me with a firm resolve. Jara marana mokshaya mama shritya yatantiye te brahma tadvidukritsnam adhyatmam karma chakhilam Whoever resorting to me strives for liberation from decay and death, they realize in full that brahman, the individual self, and all action.
நீடும் பரபிரம்மம் தானே எல்லாம் கருதியிடும் காரணமே இல்லாமையாலே காரியமாயொரு பொருளும் என்றும் இல்லை மறுதியிடும் கர்த்தாவே இல்லாமையாலே மற்றவனால் மறுதியிடும் பலனும் இல்லை சர்வமெனும் சப்தமுமே இல்லாமையாலே சர்வமென ஒரு பொருளும் என்றும் இல்லை நிர்மலமாய் நிஷ்களமாய் நிறந்து நின்ற நிகழ்வுருவாம் பரபிரம்மம் தானே தரும் காரியமும் நிலவே இல்லை வெகுவிதமாய் ஒரு பொருளும் நிலவே இல்லை விசித்திரமாய் ஒரு பொருளும் நிலவே இல்லை சகலமெனும் ஒரு பொருளும் நிலவே இல்லை ஜல ஜீவ பரங்களெல்லாம் நிலவே இல்லை அகிலமுமே அகண்டபடி போன்றமான அறிவுருவாம் பரபிரம்ம ஸ்வரூபமேயா ஒரு பொருளும் ஒரு காலும் நிலவே இல்லை உள்ளதெல்லாம் அகண்ட பர பிரம்மமாகும் பிரம்மமது நானாலும் நானே அந்த பிரம்மமெனும் பாவனையால் அகண்ட ஜானம் மறுவினவர் பேதமெல்லாம் உடனே மாற்றி மகத்தான ஸ்வரூப நிலை அடைவர் என்று அரிய சிவன் அருளியவார் அறந்தே நித்தை அன்புடனே கேட்டுணவோர் பரமேயாவ அருமையுடன் நகண்ட பர சிவரூபத்தை அனவரதம் தியானித்தம் அருள் பெற்றோர்க்கே நிர்மலமாம் பரஜான மனதில் தோன்றி அஞ்ஞானம் அனைத்தும் நீங்கி மரமதுவாயிருக்கின்ற முக்தி அன்றி பகர்முக்தி மற்றோர்க்கு இல்லை என்றே பிரியமுடன் திபுமுனிவன் மிதாக நிற்கு வேதமிலா பரம்பொருளை பேசினானா